Marco, no doubt happy with the start, mate, but probably disappointed to, to fall away as bad as you did. Yeah, well, um, yeah, in the context of our season and the opponent that we're playing, yeah, we, we played we played Melbourne at the MCG, oh, gee, around six or seven, I reckon. Um, they beat us by 15 goals. So, um, yeah, we respect that club and uh, and that playing group um, highly. And um, and last time we played them, they um, they made us look not even second rate, but perhaps third or fourth rate. And so. Um, what was really pleasing today is we um, we made it much more of a contest. You know, our, our first 40 minutes of the game was really strong. I think it was six goals to one up until that point in time. And um, and then even with about, I think there were only three or four minutes to go in the, in the first half, we were at, you know, 20 points or thereabouts in front. And we just, um, this is what, what comes with experience and faith and uh, trust, in, trust in your system. They just scored three goals because they've got trust in their system and we just had opportunities where we could have killed two of those balls um, and we, we didn't do so. Instead of going into half-time you know, with a three-goal lead or 20-point lead, we we go in neck and neck. And so, um, you know, if, we, if we'd have been gone in three goals up, then at, at half-time, um, you know, they've got three goals to catch up in the third quarter before they can even get a, get in front. So... Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're pleased we're in the contest this time around, but, um, yeah, as you said, the good sides can just do it for longer at the present time. But we're, we're learning. We played a really, really good side today, and for 40 minutes of footy, we, we really troubled them. So that was that was pleasing. we just got to find ways of doing it for longer. As you said, to be able to cut that margin back, must, you must be able to see the growth within the group, given that they're still so young. Yeah, and... Um, but it's um, it's just sort of playing the, the the brand of footy that we want to play, and can we just sustain that for long periods of time? And um, you know, like I said, I said to the players after the game, you know, eight, eight years ago Melbourne were in exactly the same position as what we're in now. So um, it is it's, it's not permanent when you're um, in the bottom part of the ladder. Um, it's uh, it's it's only temporary, but we've got to have the faith and the belief that we can that we can get there, and we showed some signs today that there's some uh, there's some good things ahead for us but it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of um, a lot of evidence that um, we can we can do it and be relentless in the way that we want to do it and um, hopefully that will start um, transferring into some, into some wins for us how is it on the, on a personal level as well to have that first match back for you now after the break oh they, they, they're good as gold I mean it's not much of a a change really from from rats into into me. You know they've been uh, rats. Swiss Credit was doing everything that we had, had planned at the at the start of the year in terms of the way that we want to try and teach our players and give them opportunities. You know we've played you know 42 players on our list more than any other side in the competition. So we, we're continuing to give give guys a chance and find out who the who the guys are that um, that can take some steps forward and uh, and experience the. The game at the level, particularly the particularly the younger ones, and um, you know, as we saw, like um, Eddie, Eddie Ford's first first quarter, he, he kicks he kicks three goals against a really good opponent, and um, he's up and about, and we're able to kick uh, kick five in the first quarter, and it's just like, um, yeah, great confidence now. His, his challenge is, can he turn that really good start into getting another couple of goals? He ends up with with five for the game, and. Um, then he starts to get genuine, genuine belief that he can really cut it. So that's just, they're just little illustrations of what we're searching for, and that's not transferring into wins just yet. But um, but it will down the track if they if they maintain the belief. Jack Siebel's game again really left on the front today, in, in what's going to be probably his last game, one of his last games in his career. How I guess proud of you have been that he's still being able to put together the footy years at this stage of his career. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, we're we're pleased with our, that our. Had back end, back end stood up pretty strongly. You know, even a guy like Petty, who kicked like six last week against the Richmond outfit, are a pretty strong outfit, particularly defensively. And um, you know, their their bigger guys didn't have as as big a big influence. You know, um, you know, Cosie Pickett got a hold of us hold of us early, and you know, Chandler kicked one or two goal of his goals from our from our mistakes that we made by not killing the ball. So. Um, yeah, and, and you know, I reckon two of Cosy's goals were pretty special, special goals. So we were we were pleased with the way that we were able to defend the defend the ground, particularly the first um, first half of the game. Um, but yeah, the, the 
the avalanche is going to come if you don't take your opportunities against the, the Melbourne side. I reckon we probably left... Uh, Melbourne left some goals out there late themselves, but I reckon we, we left three or four goals. That as the ball's going inside our 50, it's just like we're going to score here, and somehow we managed to muck it up. So um, that happens. And um, But what we were pleased with was... Um, despite not getting the goal, was the passage of play the right passage of play for us to give us a chance to score? And it was. And the easy part to fix up is actually the uh, the finish of it. Um, the hard part is actually getting the, the passage of play in the first instance. And there was enough evidence there today that we're on the right track, but we just need to do it for longer. Obviously, you go out every week intending to win a game, but is, given that you've obviously had not had a win since round two. Is it important to get that win, get another win before the end of the year, or is it more, as you said, the long-term game to try and get that belief? Yeah, it's just the long-term game. If the wins come, I mean, it, the, all, all the win does is affirmation. Um, and so a, a win for mine is that we're five goals to one against uh, at quarter time against a really, really good side. Um, and, a, and another win was that we knew they were going to come at half-time, and by, um, by the 25-minute mark of the second quarter... Um, they had no, been able to cut that margin significantly. Um, but then we just let three go. So we, we're really in the contest um, strongly for uh, nearly a whole half against a really, really good side. So they're the little wins that we're searching for. And um, hopefully if we get those right, then um, a four-quarter win will come for us at some point in time. And we're hoping that's before the end of the year. But if it's not, then we'll just keep working at it. We know that it's hard yards and... Um, you know, in this, this game, there's always got to be someone on the top and someone on the bottom. Uh, we've been on, down in the, the lower parts of the ladder for far too long and we're, um, we're ready to start the climb. Have you seen some growth in the side from when you stepped away to sort of where they are, where they are now? Yeah, yeah I mentioned that during the, during the week, but once again, it's exactly what I was just saying then. It's just like little things that perhaps those um, from the outside aren't, aren't really searching for and they'll just look at... Um, the, the fact that we haven't won any more games than what we did last year, so it's just like, oh, well, I haven't made any progress. But um, we're, we're making progress, and hopefully that'll transfer into some more wins, um, certainly um, certainly next year. But hopefully we've got three more rounds to go and um, still got a lot to lot to get out of the out of the season. You know, we've got the Bombers next week, then we've got Richmond and, Richmond and Gold Coast, and each time that these lads get a chance to play, um, we get a chance to... You know, gather gather more evidence of passages of play that we're searching for in our whether that's the way that we defend the ground, the way that we um, the attack the ground, or, or what happens when the ball's in dispute at stoppage. And um, yeah, I think the I think the stoppages um, in today's game ended up being 40 each. You know, Melbourne have you know uh, all Australian ruckman. I don't know how many times gone he's been um, been the ruck, um, all Australian ruckman. Sorry and. Yeah, when you got uh, Petrarca and Viney and um, and Brayshaw and these sorts of guys underneath, you know, it's a it's a hard act to try and beat him in that part of the ground. But it was 40 each, so so yeah, we we competed really well in that that part of the ground, but didn't perhaps get the same polish as what they did. With I think they scored three goals from centre bounce and um, another four or five from between arc stoppages. So um, it's one thing to win the clearance, and it's another thing to actually. Um, make the most of it. But there's little things that have been going on right through the, uh, this period that I've been a, away from the club that has allowed those, go those guys to progress. And some of it is just by um, them just getting more exposure and playing more, more games together. Um, and that's been a benefit for the group. I think, Dave, personally, coming back to the coach's box, Alistair, but also to notch up game 400 as, as senior coach, you must, I guess, must be a really proud day for yourself and your family. Have you been able to, I guess look back and I guess be proud of the impact you've had on the AFL? Yeah, no, not as yet. That'll probably come at, a, at another time. But um, my excitement really was just uh, not so much a milestone, but just getting back amongst the group. And um, we've got a lot of work to do, um, but we knew that right from the right from the get-go. And that's the, that's the exciting part of the journey, you know, um, taking hold of a, uh, of a footy club and a, and a playing group and... Um, you know, to, to try and instil in them the belief that um, there's no uh, there's no silver bullet to this. It's just um, it's just be be patient, um, build the club the right way, um, get a good culture, a good environment, and um, you know, with equalisation methods, you know, you you, you do get um, earlier picks and the more successful sides at the current time to replenish your list and give yourself an opportunity to grow. And what we've got to do 
really, really well is invest really strongly in that youth and give them the opportunity to get the belief that they can cut it with the big boys eventually.